and um, then get everything moving. We'll warm up, we'll do some squats. That will warm up the legs. And then we will um, just work the core a lot. So we'll start standing and then we'll sit down, we'll lay down on the floor to start doing the core work. So again, thanks for being here. My name is Cindy, I have a great class for us. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. Yesterday was so different. I, I couldn't believe the weather yesterday. It was just a, kind of an odd day. But um, it's supposed to be hot today. So I know VA out there is smiling because she likes hot weather just like I do. <laughs> Love hot weather. Yeah, I'm just kind of plugging things in. I did have a class before this, so I'm kind of getting it together here. Here we go. Um, thanks for being patient here. Getting the audio on. Big shoulder roll. So let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. Um, please remember to breathe. Um, and drink water as we go. Always good drink water. So big shoulder roll. It's a big shoulder roll. I usually start with a stretch. I'm just going to step back so the hip flex is right there. I'm going to move back a little. That will help you see me and you see you better. Hip flex is right there. And then turn to the knee. Step in. Step back. I'm going to do a quick stretch today. Now, step out. This is an inner thigh stretch. You're reaching with your arm. My elbow rests on my knee, and then I go the other way. Big reach. I'm probably feeling my shoulders and lats right now. And that's the purpose. You kind of wake up the shoulders and the lats. I'll go the other way, too. Step in. And you see that I'll put this apart, and we're going to squat. And we're just sitting down. Then come up. Then come up. So we're moving at the hip ankle knee. Hip ankle knee. Everybody's bending. And so you just squat. I'm going to reach out for now. Your hands can be on the side. Whatever works for you. Um, this is a core practice. Core work. 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 Core so grateful to have a great couple of having these doing classes, love these classes. Love that you guys are with me. We have the fifth form, which is a narrow squat. Eight, seven, six, four more. So we're going to still do squats. The right foot, this one steps wider. So this is a wide squat. A wide squat really works for people who can't even fly a little more. You're pushing to both feet. Not just the toes, not just the heels. And bending. Eight more. Look at the breath. That's so more, but we're not done. In two, and one is stepping right. So back to the narrow squat again. The narrow squat is to a side. So you can loose me in the side. But just go bending and moving. Now I want to tell you something. You have more here. If I do something that you don't want to do, don't worry about it. Um, you just do something different. Maybe you have an issue with a body part, and that doesn't work for you. Don't worry. Just do something that works for you. So you have eight more here. Eight. Seven. Take a deep breath. One more. Then we have to end. Two more. Then we're going to step wide left. And you're stepping wide and bending. When you're wide, you can bend lower. So bend lower. Now my arms go out, and I'm just pushing back. Out, push, out, push. I'm really leaving with my elbows when I get back. Eight more. It's going to be warm to that feel already. Four more. That's two more we're going to step in. Step in. Eight. So I'm going to turn to squat if you squat. That's the one step of the legs. I think I'll squat. Two more. We're going to step wide again one more time. Step now. You're coming off your heel. Bend, reach. Bend. The heels are coming up. So there's your calves, your quads, the knees, hamstrings, 15, 15 come up. I'm pushing my knees to breathe. 
10 more, probably going to go with 8, you put out 2 dice, plus 4, plus 3, 2 more, we're almost done, so low, stay low, 3, 2, now come on with you, we're going to switch it off down with you, 1, 3, 2, come up, last one, 3, now I'm pulling in, all right, you ready? I'm going to do some balance. One leg is grounded, and the other leg now goes back. You put airplane. So just pushing back and reaching out. Now, look, you can actually hold something that that helps you. So you push up the leg more, and you can hold it more. So you can hold it more. So you push up the leg more. You focus on something that's going to be you reach out. Now, balance is not my best. My best, I guess, way to whatever. Let's come in. That's why I do it. I'm not, not my strongest point. That's why I do balance. You try to push up the leg higher and reach with the arms. Now, without changing, go to a star. You see how I'm just reaching out. The leg comes up and I'm reaching. So, right now I'm holding something, I let go. Go there. Go to the other foot. Get to balance and reach out. Now, if you want it, I got to it. I want you to ask you how to walk it. Enough movement that you push yourself off balance. Uncomfortable. Four, three, two, very good. Now, I'm going to meet you on the mat. We're headed to the floor because we're warm and ready to go. We've got to balance in. If you have a weight, a water bottle, you can have vegetables, or fruit, whatever, it doesn't matter. Have that close by. To add, some, to add some more weight to the knees that we're going to do. So I'm going to show you the roots. I've noticed my elbows on the shoulder I come up, up, down. Up, down. I'm going to show you from the other side. I'm just going to turn and stay with it. Up, down. And as you know, you've got to try to be aware of what's in your house. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't hit that plan over yet. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> um, with this, with glutes, you're going to feel the glute of the leg that's lifting. Um, if you can look at my foot real quick, I didn't even touch the floor. I personally think that's more effective. Up, drop, up, drop. You have eight more. You're really focusing on the glute of the leg that lifts. You have four. You're doing great. Now that knee is going to bend and come out. Bend, come out. Bend. When you're going to feel it, there's a little bit of it right there with the extension. Eight, seven, good job. Six, I'm going to really push you that heel and leg. Two more. Now the next move, the knee bends and you go up, up, very like high, up, down, up, down. You're just trying to see how to squeeze with each repetition. Eight. Seven, five, four, three. Good. Now light lengthen over back. It's like a diagonal across that leg. Now notice I put my foot down so my leg can go over back, over back. You only have four. Two more. Just want to be quick. One more. Come in. Now the other leg is going to do the same thing. So you, I'm going to turn again. You can see my front leg, you go up, down. You're just kind of pushing that heel up. You're squeezing that glute as you push up the heel. Now, it's this one, elbow on the shoulder, head up. Eight more. Now, this was a big round. So we'll keep big round for first leg. So, of course, we'll keep it big for second. I'm not touching the floor. One more. In, drop. That's the four. In, drop. Do a four laps around this block. The glute. And be aggressive in whatever you do. In, out. In, out. Eight. And remember to breathe. It's always a good thing to breathe, right? Four more. Keep going. Two more. Same thing. Then push up. 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 Now, each time you push up, you should feel the glue of the leg that you're working. Six, five, 
or three knifing and go back. Now this will be a little uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. Just reach over, come back. No touch. Lock my foot on the ground. Four, you won't manage. Two more. Just one. Now if you can make an easy transition, that's a great. Have a seat. And if you have a weight, grab a weight. If you don't, don't worry about it. All the things you do, I do, we do, can be done without a weight. The body pushes back. You are trying, listen, to use the whole upper body. It's half the floor if you can with the weight. Now I'm going to show you from the side what I see. I see this a lot. You want to push your body back. Keep on no and you stop. Push your body back and turn. This is for your oblique muscles. Turn back. Now this is really the first level. I guess the first we just see a little turn. But I'm going bigger to start. Now I'm bringing my legs up. You only have eight, five, six, six, guys. Now if you don't have a mat, let's just do this. You don't, I'm sorry, not a mat for that. Wait, one more. Nice job. Go down. Put the weight with you, too. I love this music of the floor. Now, the legs come up. The weight goes up and you go out. Stand up. Let me get my bearings here. Out. And up. Out. Yeah, think about what's happening here. The longer the arms, the closer to the floor, the more the work. You push out. You push out. But you use your ass to do the work, not the landing. Now I gotta move. I wanna move so we're going a little quicker. You have 15, 15. Now because it's quicker, listen, you might not be able to go so back. But you can certainly reach long. Again, my name is Cindy. Thank you for being here. Love this class. Out, up. You just have four. You just have three. Two more. The legs will stay up. The weight will stay up in the reach. Now notice, my shoulders come off the floor. They're reaching to the toes. You could be here with the knees. You could be here. This is somewhere. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. For a second. We're going to put those two knees together. It's going to be awesome. You have six, six, five, two more. Now listen. Out, in, six, five, four, three, two, one, out. We got two more together. Two more. Lengthen, out, in, last set of six. This is a super set. Two more. Out, in. Okay, now put the weight down. Let's go. Stand in for a while. We're going to do the abs. Specifically the midsection, the abs. Not so much the overweight, just the abs, specifically, for a while. Now, we call eight. Up, drop. Now, my head, rest to my hand. I'm going to do more than eight. Keep on, we're going to do some more. Just kind of feel the deal with the abs. Each time you try to pull the shoulder blade off the floor. Pull up, because I'm going to rest your head, right in your head. Now, we back. I see this. But I definitely think this is a little more effective. Now we have eight. Eight. This is abs. Take that deep breath. So now the chest. Four more. The next thing we're going to do is a bleak. We're going to twist front to back. So you twist, turn, drop. There you go. Good. Now get your rhythm and next turn bigger. Turn straight at yourself. Turn bigger. Leave your big elbow and the shoulder. Over that. Eight. Eight. Seven. Now this won't seem like a lot, but you really want to sculpt the side of the body. The oblique muscles. Yeah, four more. Take that breath. Just two. Next to the head. Then you take the hands. You rest your heart on your hands and reach to the foot. Now the other foot. Now notice I'm moving my body. 
feel my body moving my body. I rest my back in between each rep. Over, drop. Over, drop. One more each side. This is the weak the rock handle. I rest my neck. Two more. Now look, if you need a break, take a break. One more. Go just to the break. I rest in my body, my neck to be specific. Knee over hip. Round yourself and from here. This is the windshield wipe. You should be obliques again. Over and back. Now, the biggest thing I want to tell you is to really brace your upper body. The hands do that. Come to the side. Go up. Come in place. You want it in place. Now go longer. Lengthen. Come back. Lengthen. Come back good. Make sure your upper body isn't moving. We have four more each side. I'm trying to go just a little closer to the floor. Three more. You're doing great. Just two. Now the next thing we're going to do after this is the bite. So we had a big oblique section here. The obliques are the love handles. We did a lot of moves, knees in, and you go side, side, twist, turn, twist, turn. Now you got it. Now go with it. Over, back. Turn the whole upper body. Eight, seven, six. Keep going. Just four. Just three. Just two. Good. One more. Now the feet come on the ground. Hands to the side. Do lift, drop, lift, drop. So if you can see my feet, I'm landing on my heels and lifting my hips. Lift, drop, lift. Each time you try to bring that knee to the chest, you're working. So what are we working? Let's talk about that. You got some ab work in here, not a lot, but some, but mostly the lower back and the glutes, which is part of your core. Lift, drop, four. Really pull in, really push up. Just two more. Now the next thing I'm gonna do and try not to take too much of a break, is turn to me and maybe fold the mat because you want to cushion the elbow and give me a side plank. So a side plank, your body is pretty straight. It's not like this. Elbow under shoulder again. Maybe the mat is folded. Now this could be level one. This is fine. This is great. This could be another level. This is great too. Or this could be another level. This is great too. You can stay here, but I'm gonna bend with the obliques again. Over, up. You're doing great. Four, three, two more. Just one. Hold and try to go bigger. Three, two, push your hip down. Now flip quick, you did great. That was great, you guys. Nice job. You might want to fold the mat because you saw how uncomfortable that elbow can get. Remember again, level one, two, three, and we are off. Here we go. Now, when you think about it, what we do with one side, we're going to do with the other side, right? Four, three, two more. As before, you just hold for eight seconds. Maybe the leg goes up, maybe it doesn't. Four, three, you're down, nice job. So take that weight again, grab the weight, you did great. Now this is called a free back rotation. The weight is at you, I'm gonna show you from the front then I'm gonna to turn to the side. Bend, turn, over, up. Bend, turn, over, up. So when you turn, you wanna turn big. You scoop back, you turn big. I'm trying to touch the floor. I'm not, but I'm trying. Turn over up. Now I'm gonna show you something else I see. This, you don't wanna overextend. You only have four more. Bend, twist, as you kind of scoop the belly, as you do this move. Two more. And two more here, one more. 
Now the next move is from here. Stay here, push out, pull in, push back, come in. Now it might be a little uncomfortable on that mat, especially if the mat isn't very cushy. You don't have many, just eight. Eight. Push, pull, it's time farther. Take a breath, just two, I'm sorry, four. Now it's two, now it's one. Nice job. Take the weight with you. If it was too heavy, grab a smaller weight. Make sure I can see everybody. Here we go, feet are on the ground. We're gonna do a two count, full sit up. We've done curls, here we go. Up and down. Thanks for being with me, team. Up and down. So I want you to think about when you come up and when you come down, the plate leads away, but you don't want the abs to do the work. Come up, feel the abs right there. Don't let go of the abs. Now, if the weight's too heavy, put it down. One more. We're going to go up and turn to the front. Come up, turn right or the front. Now, turn to the back. So, what have you added? Think about what have we added there? The obliques again. Up, turn. Up, turn. You just have six more. Five. Good. Give me a couple more. Let's do two more each side, just even it out. Here's one, here's two. Good, now put that weight down, you did great. Gently put that weight down. Meet me back on the floor. Guys, you're great. Now the legs are gonna go up. See how we're up, another legs up. Curl, drop, curl, drop. So this is abs with the hips extended up, drop. Now watch my leg. I'm going to add a single hip extension. Curl, drop. Now of course you don't have to do this. You can tap down. We have eight, seven. Now we all know how important our hips are, right? Of course we do. Four more. So we're moving the hips, just two. What's going to happen? Listen. Ground your upper body, put your hands by the side, out, up. You're just moving from the hips. Look, you can just drop down like that. I don't care, whatever works for you. Out, in. Six, five, four, good. Two more, then it's the reverse curl. One more, hands are at the side, you push up, drop, up, drop. You're leading with your heels. Thank you guys for being with me. I got a great team with me. Everybody's so accountable. Got a couple new people. That's great. Come up and drop. Eight. It's hot. I'm hot already here. Leave with the heels. Okay, four more. Two more. Now we're going to put two moves together. Come up and out. Up, out, up. You might start small. Up. See, I'm starting small here. Now I'm going bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger. There you go. Um, please remember to breathe and grab water when you need it. Four, three, two more. Listen, this one stays down. Point your toes, go side to side. You're gonna feel the lower abs here. We've worked the obliques. The abs, all directions of the abs. You're going side to side. If this is too much, look, come up. We only have one round, but it's a big round. 15, 14, 13, 12. Just say you can, because you can. Just say you can. Hang on to it. Remember, come up higher if it's too much. Chin off the chest. Six. Five, four, three, almost there, hang tight, two, feet down, nice job. Now give me a bridge, squeeze everything. Walk the feet in, squeeze everything. You'll feel the hip flexors and the glutes. Just give it a squeeze, a little balance, the leg comes up. Good, push up, step down, step up and squeeze. Nice job, let's do that again. Come up, out, 
in, and on your right where you need to be, foot over the knee, glute goes down and up, down, up. You're gonna feel, listen, the glute of the grounded foot. Um, make sure your foot is above the knee. Bend up, now notice again, I don't touch the floor. Eight, seven, six, good. Think about squeezing each time. Four, now of course we have to do the other leg, so think quick, step down, first get it, bend, squeeze, walk your feet in, here we go, other side, bend, up, bend, up, good, just eight, make sure you squeeze each time, the glutes, the bum, four more, now we don't have much time, two more, I want to get one more thing in, so we're going to come up a little, we come up, you're on your knees or toes, whatever works for you. I'll show you the toes. You go to the shoulder with your knee. Now, if you're on your knees, look, no big deal. You're just kind of taking that knee to the shoulder. It's obliques again. If you're on your toes, the leg legs go out. Eight, seven, take a breath, four more. Just two, just one. Okay, now just to kind of seal the deal, be long, be long, come up. Feel that inner thigh stretch. That's a great, nice job. That class went so fast today. Inner thigh, feel right there, lengthen and reach over. Kind of a variation to how we started the class. Now come in, go out. I'm just kind of letting the arms go for a second because I want to do one more thing, just one more, I promise. Reach out, I think it'll really seal the deal. He'll bring it all together, open. We're gonna do a walking plank. You don't have many, but enough. Knees or toes, bend, bend, up, up. Bend, bend, up. You only have four more. Remember to switch arms and try not to move the upper body much. Head is up. Just one more, good job. Okay, now stay there, push back to a child's pose. Now we're in the stretch. Come forward to a cobra, please lengthen. Now push back to the back. Come forward to a cobra, very good. Step in with one leg. Right there, you're gonna feel right there and reach. Thanks everybody. It's gonna be hot today, my kind of day. <laughs> Reach out, not everybody's kind of day though, for sure. Now grabbing back this time, the chest, step in, step forward, and reach. Just a quick stretch, that's all we're doing. Do it again. Now come back please and open. We're going up, a quick hamstring stretch. Elbows on the knees, chin is off the chest, but it kind of looks to the floor. Now go down to the floor, think long, go to the right the middle, the left, the middle, right, quick little stop. Now come up, good, big shoulder roll, big shoulder roll, reach out for the rhomboids. The back, open for the chest, take a breath. We'll do that again, reach out, then open. Grab them back, big shoulder roll. So thanks everybody, thank you for being here. Appreciate that you're here. Please have a great day. Please drink water. Bye, Lauren. Bye, VA. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for being here.